Hi, my name is Tali. Hi, my name's Ryan, quality control engineer and accuracy tester for the ANTS team. Didn't see you there. My name's Tim, chief wire connector on the ANTS team. My name's Jack, I'm the chief pump rubber on the ANTS team. So, this is a demonstration of our automatic mode. Uh, in a couple seconds, I'll put it into auto mode where I'll track a laser pointer, uh, track it down, and shoot a dart at it. We're using this pixie cam right here mounted on the barrel to hone in on where the laser pointer is actually pointing on our sheet over there. So now it's in free fire mode. So now it's in automatic mode. Here's the pixie on the front of our gun. It's a computer vision module that identifies the laser on the sheet behind us. So this is a Piximon debug and calibration software. So as you can see, it identifies the laser using onboard visual processing. So in addition to our automatic mode where the camera does the tracking, we have also implemented a manual mode where you can control and try to shoot the gun yourself. There's two ways to try to aim the gun. The first is with the D-pad, but as you can see, it causes very jerky movements because the D-pad is only a digital button and it can only set the servos at their max speed. But we've also implemented control using the analog stick, and this allows motion uh, to occur at the full range of the servo speed. So you can go slower or you can still go faster as well. So, we've also managed to implement a reload action in the gun, and this was because, for safety reasons, we're not allowed to have more than one bullet in the chamber at a time, so we needed a way to very quickly put a new bullet in and help everybody out. So, we implemented where you press B, it comes down, puts a nice rainbow pattern on, and it's nice, it's ready to be reloaded. So we just take the magazine off and put a new bullet down into the chamber, and then screw magazine back on. And then all you have to do is press B again and we're ready to get started. So now that we have a bullet in the chamber, it's time to fire. Uh, but before you do, make sure to pump up the air tank. So now, if we press the red start button, we'll head into live fire mode in which the gun will actually shoot. And you can turn and aim the gun at the sheet and then press C to shoot the bullet down range. Hi there! Let's discuss the mechanical systems of the turret system. We use two continuous rotation servos geared from a small gear whoops, to a big gear. That gives us lots of torque and can control the turret as best we can. As you can see though, these are still pretty cheap servos and we have a lot of play in there. Another feature of our control system is using mechanical stop switches to prevent the servos, which are continuous rotation, from burning out after being stopped by the actual physical limitations of the turret. These stop switches allow us to safely limit the range of motion of the turret. Everyone's unique, including our component's voltage requirements. And the solenoid was no different. Being the first component that we had to work with, it needed 12 volts at 1 amp, which is something that our smart fusion board could not possibly provide. So we had to improvise by um, powering the solenoid through a 12 volt power supply through this relay circuit. And what happens is our board will trigger the relay circuit to um, move a mechanical switch using electromagnetism, which is inside of this box right here. And that will connect the 12 volts from the power supply to the solenoid, which will allow it to open. And that will send air cascading through this tube into the gun, which will then fire a bullet. So for ANTS, we decided to use an LCD character display 
to display both where the target is relative to the camera in um, automated mode, as well as some useful information about the status of the gun. So here we have chamber, which indicates whether or not the gun is loaded or clear, that is the chamber is clear. Um, we have the mode corresponding to automatic or manual mode, and we have distance, which corresponds to the distance acquired from the distance sensor mounted here at the base of the gun. So here's a video of our Pixie in auto mode, and you can see the LE, LCD excuse me, display is very responsive in displaying what Pixie is seeing in real time.